Hello, welcome to our podcast, the Bottom Line Me podcast. I'm here with Ann Allard, and today we're going to look at building a business plan for yourself. Um, a lot of times we think about it being really important to do a business plan when you're starting a business. You know, you're setting goals, you're mapping out your strategy, you know, how much money do I need? But how many of us think about doing a business plan for ourselves? You know, one that addresses our professional and our personal goals. I don't think many of us do. Um, and let's talk about some of the benefits from having a business plan and uh, the different elements of a business plan. Oh, great topic, Brenda. It's one of my favorites. And I do, I agree with you that whether you're the owner of, of a company or you're an employee in the company, having your own plan is, uh, it can be the difference between success and failure or satisfaction and unsatisfaction in your, mm -hmm. in your job or in your role. So um, a business plan it can be utilized for so many different things. But I think first off, when I think of a business plan, I think it's a great way to start to organize your thoughts, your ideas, your strategies, your dreams. And then from that, certain things start to either raise up or become apparent to you that I have an idea, I know what I'd like to do, now I want to put it to paper and see if I can mm -hmm. organize it in a way that it makes sense and that I can either learn from it or I can use it as a tool and a resource to help me reach whatever potent, whatever goal it is that I want to reach. So, um, so those are some of the big things I think that um, I look at when I think about a business plan. Yeah, it's it's really a roadmap. It gives you a roadmap of where you're going. And right. I know that when I started my own business plan, I started thinking about, you know, um, some of the statistics that have happened over the past 12 months, you know, talking about, you know, how many orders did I have? How many closings? What's the revenue? And then my type of clients. And I think those are some of the details you need to get. You need to gather information. You need to make sure that you have that information and then move on in your business plan. I, I couldn't agree more. I think that is the that is certainly the place to start is mm -hmm. uh, if you're new to the business, if it's your first time around putting together a plan or you're a new employee, obviously you don't have any stats, but it doesn't mean that you can't um, you can't complete some of the other sections of a plan. And mm -hmm. I think one of the things you just asked was what are the what are the key elements in a business plan? And you know, it's funny how most of them start with an executive summary, but in my mind, that's kind of the last thing that you do <laughs> is that you wrap yeah. it all up and you summarize it. Um, but certainly you want to have your market analysis and, uh, and the segments of your business, what your objective is in each market. Um, what's the market worth and how do you figure that out by just doing some research and taking a look at that sort of thing? Yeah. Oftentimes it can help you to figure out, am I spending time and energy on the right things? I think a business plan also is a really good tool to help you identify who your ideal customer is or who the customers are that you really want to attract to your business. Um, once you do that, now you can start to put together some kind of a strategy. Am I focused on a certain segment? Am I focused on a certain area? Mm -hmm. And if so, what do I do? Where do I begin? What's the next thing I need? What, what, what do I need to know next um, as I'm putting this plan together before I decide to come up with a strategy or a marketing plan or a sales plan for that? So, um Oftentimes, too, um, you know, if, if you Google business plans, one of the things that you'll often see is that it's utilized or used often to gain investors or to borrow money. Yeah. Um, I don't know that we want to get into much of that, but that is another reason that somebody might put together a plan. I think one of the other important reasons to have a business plan is it can help you to identify and even attract the right kind of professionals that you want on your team. If you have a plan mm -hmm. and you yeah. can share some of that plan with a potential new employee, that can be really useful um, for both you and the potential employee. 
Right. One of the things about that on that track is the fact that you really wouldn't know what type of employee to get in until you put this business plan together and see where, okay, what's my target market? What's right. What are some of my weaknesses? What are some of my strengths? And then turn around and say, oh, I need to fill this position because that's not one of my strengths. I would like to get somebody in that position because it's going to meet my goal, but also because it's where I'm not the strongest. Oh, for yes. And I know that we're going to talk on another day or another time about, about strengths and weaknesses using a SWOT Mm -hmm. analysis. So uh, I agree that it will help you to, you know, clearly identify this is an area where I really do need to concentrate and focus on finding someone who has the skills or the expertise or some knowledge that can point us in the right direction. And I think that's yeah. true even if whether you're the owner of the agency or the business or you're the salesperson who's putting together a plan, mm-hmm. knowing where you, know, where you need to, to reach out for some help or some direction um, can oftentimes be the result of putting together that plan. When we put things down on paper, uh, in my <laughs> opinion, it's a game changer. It's an, yes. You have an idea in your head, but when you start scribbling it down and mapping it out, as you said, you know, it's your it's your blueprint or your roadmap. Um, it begins to to take shape. Now you can visualize who mm-hmm. it is, what it is you want in and even figure out how you're going to get there. So I think years ago, um, I heard a great line that if it's on paper, it's on purpose. And I think that is so true when you're Mm -hmm. talking about putting together strategies for a business plan. um, Yes. You know, one of the other elements that we don't often think about um, unless we're frustrated or worried or is our competitors and what are they doing? And so doing some type of a competitor analysis and looking at them and what are they doing right and what Mm -hmm. what advantages do they have or who they are really specifically who they are? What market do they have? um, What are their advantages? What are their disadvantages? Um, I think looking at competitors is real important when putting together a business plan. I agree. And I think, you know, mapping that out as to who is your number one competitor, your number two competitor and your number three competitor will help you come up with a strategy. Am I going after the customers that my number one competitor has or do I want to start with the middle ground or do I want to start from the bottom and work my way up? It's all going to depend on what your your goals and your and your plans are. Mm -hmm. But understanding those basics and putting that that information on paper, knowing that ABC is my number one competitor, um, will help you to figure out what they're doing well and how you're going to um, attract the customer based on what that customer is doing. How do you counteract what someone else mm-hmm. is doing? Well, if you don't know what they're doing, clearly you can't come up with a strategy or a plan to try and win that customer over. Right, right. So, you know, thinking about some of the benefits of creating a business plan and, you know, living that plan, you know, what are what are some of the thoughts that you have as regard to the benefits and why should you have one? Oh, I think, you know, in terms of benefits, uh, it's it's a way for us to plot. As I said, I think it allows you to put your thoughts on paper, but this is how you can plot a course and focus your efforts on things that are really important or critical Mm -hmm. to your success. Um, Certainly a business plan will help you to map out and define your, not only your revenue goals, but it will help you to figure out what your marketing strategies are and your marketing goals are. As I think you pointed out earlier, it can also help you to identify the type of customer that you're looking for. I've seen in some business plans, there's even a section where you um, can map out a profile of what your ideal customer looks like. It's a wonderful exercise to go through and makes it much easier for you to recognize that particular type of prospect or customer when you see it because you've taken the time to write it down, and now you can visualize it and you can recognize it when it's there. Um, I also think, and I think this is probably the most important thing about putting together a business plan, and that is that when we get off track or we lose focus or we become discouraged or we don't know what to do next, 
going back and taking a look at a business plan is a surefire way to help you to get back on track. Even mm-hmm. if you have to make adjustments to the plan, going back and taking a look at what was my initial objective here? What did I want to accomplish? What am I trying to do? How am I trying to deliver that message? What's my mission? Going back and taking a look at those things, uh, as I said, can really help anyone, whether it's a team, an individual, or even a, you know, a company um, all, over, all around, can help you to think about, hmm, do we have to make some changes here? Or did we just get off track? This can yeah. happen to any one of us. We, get, we go down a rabbit hole, and then all of a sudden, we, we forgot what we were supposed to be doing, or we got right. sidetracked with something that looked like it might be something that we wanted to pursue, but are we pursuing something that is in line with those with the objectives that we've laid out in our plan? So. Yeah, it, it takes the guesswork. You know, takes the guesswork out. You're no longer guessing, you know, where am I going? What am I doing? Um, I think, too, that personally it eliminates some of those unwanted or unproductive activities. I mean, we can take those out of the picture. It's, you know, when, like you said, when you monitor that plan and mm-hmm. when you make adjustments, um, you remove what's not working. You keep doing what's working. Um, it All of that reduces stress. And I think it it improves your consistency and it makes it so that you you do have that roadmap. You do have that direction that you're going and you can get back on track, like you said. Exactly. And I I think, you know, we you know, we use business plans. We talk about them a lot in one of our signature programs at Agency University, the mentorship program. And I often say to people uh, that are putting together a business plan for the first time that. Keep in mind that, you know, you're not being graded on this. This is not a one and done. Uh, I put it together and then I put it in a file and I never look at it again. It is what we like to call um, at Agency University, one of those living, breathing documents that is always going to be subject to adjustment and change. So, Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you know, watching over the last 13 years um, in mentorship, uh, watching the whole program grow and from people completing a business plan and, you know, taking the time to put it down, you know, what do I do well? What do I need more training on? You know, what about my competition? Who are they? What the, what are they doing? I think all of that is where you don't get, you don't just go out on the street and see what works, see what sticks. It gives you, it figures out what you're going to do day by day and what am I going to do today to meet the goal and meet the goals that I put in that business plan. I, there's no question. I think that's true. It also builds our, our confidence when we sit down. Mm-hmm. Right. Sometimes you're, you know, I've, I've had um, individuals that have been in the mentorship program that are amazed when they finish putting together a plan and think, I have mm-hmm. no idea. I had all this information, but I didn't have it in a, you know, packaged up in a neat way where it made where there was some logic to it and it mo- it moved me from this is what I want to how do I get to what I want do you have an example of someone you've run into or even yourself that has used a business plan successfully well i i don't know that i could come I, i've certainly done them myself yeah. over the years in many different roles that i've been in and i've always found them to be helpful useful uh, and help kept and certainly, I, I think, as I said, kept me on track or got me back on right. track when I was off track. What I will say is that my observations in working in the mentorship program for as many years as I have is that those who enroll in this program and complete that exercise are far more likely to reach their goals, to complete the program to learn a new skill and to and to feel as though they're they're really on a path to success than those that became overwhelmed with it or just didn't see um, the need or the value in putting it together. Mm-hmm. So um, our stats do you know uh, do indicate that folks who complete it uh, do get better results and are far more successful than those that don't. So. That in and of itself is reason to sit down and put a business plan together. 
it, it can sometimes be overwhelming. We have, you can go on, uh, on the internet, you can Google business plans and you'll come up with a variety of different templates. We have several available here at Agency University that we're happy to share with anybody in the audience. You just need to send us an email. We'll be happy to tell you a little bit more about the mentorship program or um, if you're just looking for a template, uh, we have a couple that we'd be happy to share with you. But mm -hmm. where I was going with that was is that it, it does oftentimes feel like a daunting task. And I think that's why some people look at it and think, oh, boy, there's no way um, I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the time the or the energy or I don't see the purpose of this exercise. So what we've learned to over the years is that you have to start slow with something like this. Yeah. And also start with the sections that are really relevant to your situation. Mm -hmm. You can always fill in later or say, I didn't feel this section was really pertinent to me at this point in time. But now, six months later, I want to go back and take a look at that and go through that exercise. So. Um, so that, that would be my final thought or my, my, my one real important piece of advice to everyone is if you are looking at putting together a plan, try not to let it overwhelm you. Start small, do it in bite-sized chunks, um, and reach out and ask for help uh, if you need it. All right. And I think really the bottom line with all of that is the fact that you don't have to just go Google business plan. You can reach out to agency university at oldrepublictitle.com and your, or your agency rep. And we have business plans. We have a long business plan. We have a short one and we've got different things and we will come alongside you and help you with that and, and give you ideas on how to fulfill a business plan. So, but make a plan and work. It is, you know, that's the best thing is to have a roadmap and have a way to reach your goals. Yeah. Couldn't agree well, thank more. you, Anne. Really appreciate it. And to all of you that are out there listening, and we hope we can help you learn, grow and prosper. Thanks.